the Sydney Royal Easter Show. Let's check out all the food that's available here, go on some rides and have fun. Let's go. Okay, first up we're going to get a Dagwood dog. There is such a huge line for it and I love how the sign says if size matters. So funny. Let's find the line again. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm okay. Okay. Hey, I need to find the best one. One of my favorite things to get at a carnival is a Dagwood dog. This one is massive and I'm kind of like intimidated by the size of it. So this one was $12. It's literally two of my hands, I would say. Um, let's take a bite. Mm. It has a nice and fluffy batter, nice sausage as well in the center, and the tomato sauce just works really well with it. So saucy. The one that I got today, it's actually got a nice, like, slightly crispy batter on the outside, which I like. Yeah, I would rate this one an 8 out of 10. We're currently in line for chips on a stick, which is something that I pretty much always have to get when I go to the Easter show. And when they it was $9. I think the price has gone up a decent amount over the years. We've got chicken salt with it, which is my favorite seasoning to go with it. Let's give it a taste. This one is made really well because you can tell it's fresh, it's hot, it's slightly crispy, it's well seasoned, coated in chicken salt. So yummy. I am currently on a mission to find the lemonade. It's my favorite thing to get at the Easter show and I swear I can go like a full day drinking like five of these. It's so bad. But um, yeah. Let's look for it. Just in one single spot I can see three different places where you can buy lemonade. There's literally one behind me, one to my right and one in front of me. It's kind of like they've planted it everywhere so it's like while you're walking, you're tired, you're feeling hot, you want to sip on the lemonade to feel refreshed which I'm not mad about that. So the jumbo size for this one is $9 and then the cheese on a stick is $7. This is literally one of my favorite lemonades ever. There is just something so addictive about it. Oh my God. It's like the perfect thing to sip on while you're walking through the Easter show. So refreshing. The perfect amount of sourness, sweetness, so good. Easter show on Thursday and it was a lot quieter then but right now it's kind of like hectic. I am a massive seafood lover so every time I go into the dome I have to get oysters. Hi, can I please get a mixed plate of bottom oysters? delicious. 
I think I'd rate it a 9 out of 10. We're about to watch the wood chopping show. <laughs> I'm so excited. Is this kind of intense? We will get some potions for you. We will congratulate our winners. I'm already feeling thirsty. I think it's time for another lemonade. Hi, um, can I please get one jumbo lemonade? Thank you. Sorry, are you on TikTok? Yes, I oh my god, I recognize you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi, you too. Go. Thank you so much. No Have a great day. You too. Oh my god, this is our second jumbo lemonade of the day. Um, I'm literally so addicted to these. We're currently in line for the Wild Mouse, which is like a small, medium roller coaster, I think. This was not too scary, so hopefully it's not too bad. Guys, I'm so scared! Bro, I'm just stressed holding the camera. It's wrapped around my arm. Ah! Okay, this isn't too bad. It's not too bad, it's not too bad. Alvin! This isn't too bad! <laughs> trying this lemonade very sweet very sour very good 10 out of 10 Put your camera to <laughs> oh shit <laughs> what oh sunset wow so you wow what a i'm an independent man now all right so my brother works at macca's now so he can pay for food <laughs> so we got a blooming onion it's 15 dollars for an onion <laughs> um but yeah let's see how it tastes why do you look so official? For this one, my brother Alvin is going to join me to review it. So we got a bloomin' onion, $15. I shall try it without the sauce first, you know? More professional. True, true. Uh, it's seasoned well. And yeah, it's good. It's good. Cheers. The sauce helps like make the uh, you know heaviness of the battle you know more light. <laughs> and it tastes pretty good. I'll give that a solid eight out of ten. It's like a tangy sauce, like a tangy creamy sauce, and the onion is nice and crispy. Do we think it's worth fifteen dollars? Probably not. <laughs> no, no, I'm... But it's still good. Like I'm not gonna lie. It's good. It tastes good for an onion though. <laughs> That's an hour of work right there. It's okay though. All right, don't put that. In. We are in line at Fire Pop. We're gonna grab some skewers. Oh my gosh, the owner of Fire Pop just came out and said that he has something off the menu to share with us. So I'm kind of just like, oh, it's so nice. Amazing. So we just eat it just like this? Yes. Oh, cool. Wow. It's like a tuna belly. Wow, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, this is my sister Lilo. It's so buttery to the point where I'm just like, is this even meat? Like, it's crazy. No, it reminds me a bit of like a really fatty salami. Oh, yeah. It didn't even feel like I was eating beef. Like, I would love to see that cow in real life. Okay, we've got four skewers. These two are called the OG. They're two for $15. We have this one, which is the butter, $12 on this one. And then the cube, which is $19. So I am really keen to bite into this one. So this one is really high quality Wagyu. I think it was Marble Score 9 plus from memory. Holy crap, this is so pretty. 
freaking buttery and delicious. It has a bit of a steaky flavor while being really moist and soft. What do you think? That's really good. We'll try it. It's so good. This is the lamb skewer. Cheers. This one a taste. Woo! Actually, really nice. It, I think it's sprinkled with a bit of garlic and sea salt. It's really simple, really delicious. This is nice too. Okay, we just got a $14 hot dog. Um, this sausage is massive. It's covered in some caramelized onion. Oh, damn, what the hell? This is blue. I had pretty low expectations for this because this is where the turkey leg is from. And we went there the other day and the turkey leg was pretty dry, but this on the other hand is really good. The Kransky has a nice skin around it, nice chew to it, and it's actually got cheese in the center. So when you bite it, it actually kind of like has a great burst of flavor. It's really juicy. It's really good. If you haven't had Dole Whip before, it's pretty much a pineapple ice cream. I just know that it's really popular in Disneyland overseas, so it's really cool that we get to experience it at the Easter show here in Sydney. We just got a pineapple bowl from Dole Whip. They actually serve it in a real pineapple. Let's give this a taste. Well, I already know I like this because I had it the other day, but cheers. It's so refreshing. It has a beautiful pineapple flavor. Nice like sourness, packs a punch. And it has like this really nice creamy and slightly whipped texture. I really like it. It's really smooth as well. Nine out of 10. Nine out of 10. Nine out of 10. Nine out of 10. We're currently in line for a cheese toasty. It's kind of like something that's been around at the Easter show for a really long time. It used to be the, one of the cheapest things to get. I think it started at $2 a few years ago, but now it's doubled the price. It's $4 now. Thank you. Looks like just a standard toasty. Yeah, let's give it a taste. I mean, it's what you expect. Oh my god, it's dripping. I don't know why, but this toasty tastes better than the one that we had the other day. Maybe it tastes more fresh, but the cheese is like really melted and delicious. The more I eat this toasty, the better it is. It's like so cheesy. I thought we couldn't get the pasta because the woolly stone was closed and we walked past before, but there's actually one place outside. So we're gonna try one of the pastas here. This is a $17 spaghetti and they made it by like twirling the spaghetti in a Parmesan wheel. Cheers. Definitely a very strong Parmesan flavor. I actually think it's pretty nicely cooked, but I would have just loved for it to have an extra like kick of something, but it's still nice. I think I would rate this around a seven out of 10. We are currently at the show bag section um, and we got a zombie choose and wicked fizz show bag. This was 10 bucks and it's got so much stuff in it. Like literally, I don't even know how many of these are in here. I can't wait to eat all of these. I think this is worth the money. Thank you. <laughs> we just got a Zappo bag. This one was $6. I think for the first time ever this year, Cinnabon is actually at the Easter show. So they have a store here at the show bag section. Let's get one. We got an $8 classic mini bon from Cinnabon. I tried this once and I really liked it. Let's give this a bite. Mm. So good. It's like soft and cinnamony. It tastes really fresh and it's just delicious. Hey guys, Bites with Alvin over here. This is a Cinnabon mini bun. I don't know what it's called. With the oozing sugar. Sweet. Warm. Sticky. 8.5 out of 10. We'll try again. It's officially night time now and I'm in the mood to go on some more rides and play some games. I want to see if I can win any toys and plushies. Uh, what are we doing now? We're on the swing ride and I'm actually like a little bit scared. I'm scared of heights. Lily's very afraid of heights. Did you fart? I did. I was holding it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's 
say hi. 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 <laughs> to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications on. Wow, he says it better than I do. <laughs> okay, we just got a twenty-five dollar lamb shank. Um, the sign actually says it's halal as well, which is really cool. We're also going to get another lemonade, but maybe just a regular size because it's the end of the night. <laughs> Everything's closing right now. The fireworks just went off, but this is the last little uh, meal that we're grabbing. Pretty expensive, um, but it's a decent size. They coated it in barbecue sauce. Uh, let's just take a bite out of it. I really hope it's not dry like the turkey leg I tried the other day. It's a lot better than the turkey leg. A lot better. I enjoy it. And I think the barbecue sauce really enhances it. I feel like the lemonade paired with any of the Easter show food makes it so much better. Actually, it does get juicier. It's got some nice, like, juicy fatty bits. It's got some meaty parts. Um, has a really nice flavor to it. Yeah, it's pretty solid. I would actually get this again. I think I would probably rate this... Um, to an eight. Anyways, I think we're gonna call that a day. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed and um, stay tuned for the next one. Bye!